This is the Hacker F1 software defined radio, a transceiver capable of receiving and transmitting on a massive swath of frequencies. Today we're going to get it out of the box, get it put together, get it set up and try it out on SDR Sharp, a very simple Windows based program. See if we can receive a frequency and just generally give it a quick play. This episode made possible in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for all your custom printed circuit board needs. They offer numerous services, different styles of PCBs, even assembly and parts supply. Make sure you check them out and tell them I sent you. Okay, first time getting the new HackRF out of the box and hopefully put this thing together. This will, I'm hoping this will serve to be a first startup and test video. We'll uh, maybe see if we can get it going with uh, SDR Sharp to start, and then, uh, then I'll play with it on my Linux PC. Oh, I like the USB cord they gave us. I like that. Okay, big mag mount. We're not going to need the mag mount today or that. We'll just use this kind of rubber duck, I think. Perfect. Okay, from all the pictures I've seen online, this oscillator goes in like a shoal. And that should be where it needs to be. Everything else looks okay. Just install it into the case. Hopefully it'll be secure and in place. Looks like it just slides in on these rails right here. Are we in the right zone? That's what we're gonna find out. I'll have to pop the pop those caps off. Let's try it on this end. I think. We'll also have to take the nuts off. Yeah, and then nut them on the outside. I think that's the idea. That would make a lot more sense, right? I'm not supposed to hold things to the case. As long as the case is the right size, we should be fine. Cool. Let's check the other side and just see how much slop there is. I don't know that I've seen much for videos of the assembly of these things online. It, uh, I, I actually had to go searching to find the location of that external crystal or oscillator. Okay, if we hold those tight, almost no movement end to end. Wow, that's a good fit. Holy smokes. Okie dokie. So we can just go ahead and sort of put things together. We can put our nuts on, put our case screws in, and we're we're driving out. This is uh, this is gonna be pretty straightforward, and we should be able to get it to. Ah, cool! Like so many years, I've waited to have myself a hacker off. I can't wait to fire this thing up. Screws are pretty straightforward. I don't think we need to record all of this, just set them in the ends and tighten them up. I think what we'll do is we'll tighten the screws up first and then we'll uh, then we'll do the SMA nuts onto the ends. And we should be should be in good shape. Okay. I've gone ahead and I've got SDR sharp fired up and this didn't take me long to configure at all. I'll jump right onto the laptop screen and it should be a little better. So I went ahead and downloaded the newest community package. I've never used this before. I still use an ancient one. I set up the HackRF one. I picked it from the drop down, nothing to it. I set it for 10 mega samples. Uh, the gains I set there and that's pretty much about it. Close. If we hit volume to zero on this and hit play with any luck, boom, we're getting from the HackRF, which is pretty darn awesome. And there's all kinds of noise in here coming from my shop 
uh, and other sources. So it's it is a really bad environment to test <laughs> to test this in. And I've got the amp turned on in it in the settings, and that seems to work. If you go ahead and kill it, that goes right down. So that's cool. It seems to be SDR Sharp seems to be doing a pretty good job. But if we go ahead and make sure we're on narrow FM, uh, squelch doesn't matter, we don't need it. If we bring the volume up, we should be on the NOAA weather radio, I hope. If we zoom right in, there we go. That is our voice coming from NOAA Weather Radio. And we can put the contrast up on the waterfall and get a real good look at that waveform of that voice. And it seems to be working pretty good. I can't hear it on the recording because the way I have my audio set up. But that's about it. That's, uh, we were able to get that set up in no time flat. Uh, get the offset up and then we can see the whole frequency. So that's, it seems to be working. Uh, all things considered, I think we're doing pretty good. So what we'll do is we can try some other stations and tune around the band and whatnot, but uh, we'll try this thing out. We're not going to transmit, but uh, I can go ahead and test out some receiving capability and uh, maybe do some more videos upcoming this this opens the door for a lot more bandwidth i can do a lot more stuff with this and do some kind of a little bit crazier projects like some of the more advanced sat decoding uh, i need i need the the power of the the hack rf1 and uh, some decent cpu and between the two i think we're i think we're going to be we're going to be in good shape but uh, time will tell Cheers guys, that was just a quick overview, uh, first run of the Hacker F1. I'll put the link down below. See you next video.